Here are the strangest things ever to wash up on a beach near you. Number 10, Nike shoe. Out of all the things that could have washed up ashore on the beach, Nike shoes were seen to be washed ashore and in large numbers. The beaches of Washington and Oregon had been experiencing large amounts of shoes washing ashore back in 2001. The locals were actually confused in taking this as beach bounty or just junk. Back in 1990, a container ship encountered a hurricane in the middle of the Pacific. Two containers containing Nike shoes were thrown overboard as the container ship lost control. The shoes were then lost at sea and were washing up on the beaches close to a decade later. But a problem for the bounty hunters on the beach is that they have to find the matching shoes as the manufacturer for Nike didn't have them paired together. Hey, I bet that's a fun thing to do for sneakerheads out there if you ask me. Apparently, sports shoes can remain afloat for as long as 10 years. And shoes that have been floating for as long as 3 years are still wearable. Pfft, forget hitting up the Nike store. I'm hopping in the DeLorean and setting it back to 2001. Number 9. Giant Lego Man Back in 2011, a human-sized Lego man washed up on a Florida beach and people went nuts because they were completely confused how it showed up and what it possibly meant. The Lego man was red, yellow, and green with the words, No real than you are, written on its chest. Oh yeah, his back had the number 8 along with a question mark with the words, Ego Leonard. This confused the local police as well because, get this, they took the Lego man into protective custody. Okay, the police probably took it just to throw it away, but they did release a statement saying, quote, Mr. Leonard is being kept in a secure environment until his owner comes forward. The Lego man is apparently by the Dutch artist Ego Leonard. A visit to his website, prescriptionart.com, shows a gallery of paintings for sale that features other Lego figures with other messages such as, I love you, play by the rules, and of course, no real than you are. Other such life-size Lego characters have also washed up on the beaches of Holland and England. No one really knows how these guys are making it up on the beaches, but if you ask me, I sure as hell would like to have one of these guys in my living room. Number 8. The Monster of Montauk The name of this creature comes from the town of Montauk in New York, where supposedly this mysterious sea monster was seen for the very first time. There have been various debates since the founding of the Montauk Monster about its origin, but no one was able to come up with the right answer to the mystery. Theories about this animal include it being a part of a secret science experiment. Yeah, okay. Initial media reports deem the creature as some sort of deformed raccoon, water rat, or even a turtle which has had its shell removed. But turtle shells are fused with its spine and obviously can't be removed like this. Paleozoologist Darren Nash studied the photograph and concluded from the corpse's visible dentition, skull shape, and front paws that the creature was a raccoon. Its odd appearance was merely a byproduct of decomposition and water action, removing most of the animal's hair and some of its flesh. Number 7. Mega Eyeball At number 7, we have a huge eyeball that was found on another beach in Florida. A rumor was circulating in the area about sea monsters and whatever else people can imagine as the eye was the size of a softball. But all the rumors were left aside when authorities declared it was the eye of a swordfish. The eye had visible straight cuts around it so it can be assumed that a fisherman has cut the eye out and just tossed it overboard at sea. The giant blue eye was found washed up on Pompano Beach north of Fort Lauderdale by a local man while he was out for a walk. It wasn't immediately clear how large a swordfish this eye might have come from, but the species can grow as large as 1,400 pounds. A swordfish's eyes are often assumed to be smaller than they appear because most of the eye is hidden inside the head. Number 6. Doritos Thousands of packets of Doritos washed up on the beaches of North Carolina back in 2006. It was first taken to be some kind of creative marketing stunt, but later was found out to be just an error in handling shipments. Just like the other incidents that happened in the sea, a container containing Doritos fell off the ship and opened in the sea. The packets of Doritos began to float and swam its way to the shores of North Carolina. As you can imagine, local authorities didn't have trouble finding volunteers to help with the cleanup as most of the chips were still fresh. Volunteers showed up in large numbers as they began to pile up their bags with the edible packs of Doritos. Personally, I wouldn't do it for Doritos, but 
If we're talking about Kettle Brand chips, <laughs> that's a different story. Experts later confirmed that the potato chips didn't pose any sort of health hazard after being washed up on the beach. I think most people probably would have had a YOLO attitude on these free chips from the sea. Number five, swarms of bees. Thousands of bees were found washed up on a South Florida beach back in early 2017. The beachgoers reported that they were being stung by swarms of bees that washed up on the beach. I had no clue that bees like to hang out around the ocean, that and whether underwater bee stings are even possible. Authorities were confused to what possible cause was to have killed the insects in large numbers, although no affirmative answer has been found. The first assumption may be linked with the usage of pesticides. Pesticides or other foul playing chemical use may have killed the swarms of bees. Another theory suggests that the swarms of bees were tired and took a dive on the shoreline, thus killing them on the beach. As weird as that sounds, apparently this is possible because bees are known to get tired, fall in the water, and die. Number 4. Bunches of Bananas In 2007, residents of the Dutch North Sea Island of Terschelling, located 70 miles north of Amsterdam, went bananas. Literally. When thousands of bananas washed ashore after at least six containers of bananas fell off of a cargo ship in a storm and at least one burst open. A half-mile stretch of beach on Terschelling Island was littered with these bananas. These unripened bananas from Cuba also washed up on neighboring Amerland Island. Apparently, Terschelling residents are no strangers to stuff turning up on their beach. In 2006, thousands of tennis shoes, aluminum briefcases, and children's toys washed ashore, drawing crowds of treasure-hunting residents. Some 30 years ago, it was a load of sweaters. It wasn't clear what happened to the bananas that littered the beach, although at the time, residents suggested sending most of the fruit to local zoos. Are bananas that have been floating around the sea still edible? I'd imagine that the water would get in. Number 3. Mystery Barnacle Object A giant barnacle-covered object that washed up on Auckland's Murawai Beach back in 2016 had locals scratching their heads. Confusion and intrigue has since surrounded the mysterious deep sea dweller after a local lady posted a photo of what she had stumbled upon to the Mirawai and Waimeku Community Group Facebook page, asking for help identifying the alien object. The photo sparked debate on the page, with one person suggesting it could be an alien pod time capsule, and another person with quite the vivid imagination, or still on an acid trip, suggesting that it's a sea monster's dreadlocks. However, after some investigation, it's believed that the mystery object is just a piece of driftwood covered in what is known as gooseneck barnacles. Gooseneck barnacles are filter-feeding crustaceans that live attached to hard surfaces of rock or driftwood. From what I can tell, this is another thing I think I'd like to have somewhere in my house. Number 2. A Half-Eaten Whale a mystery puzzled the locals of Cape Town, South Africa after the carcass of a giant whale was discovered on the beach. The severely mutilated body of the whale washed up on the beach together with its remains and blood all around. It was established that the whale had been bitten several times by great white sharks, as the bay was covered in a lot of blood and pieces of blubber were afloat at sea. Beaches were temporarily closed since the decomposing body was attracting sharks. The carcass was eventually removed and loaded on the back of a flatbed truck to be disposed of in a landfill. Scientists say it's pretty rare for a whale to float into the harbor, as there are typically only three to four whale sightings a year in Cape Town. The giant whale may have been ambushed or was sick and later fell in the hands of great white sharks. The cause of death is still unknown. The whale could have been ambushed while it was alive or died from sickness, according to the city officials. Eventually, the whale may have died from natural causes, colliding with a boat or getting caught in fishing lines. Number 1. Challenger Space Shuttle Debris after about 11 years floating around at sea, the space shuttle Challenger's debris was found on the beach in 1997. The left wing was washed up on shore, breaking into two big pieces of metal. This was the biggest piece that was seen after the closing of the investigation by NASA that took place in the year 1986. The pieces were still fresh and were able to be easily identified. The chunk of metal from the Challenger was discovered on Cocoa Beach, which is about 20 miles south of the Kennedy Space Center from where it was launched. The Challenger exploded almost immediately as it burst into flames 73 seconds after takeoff, killing all seven of its crew members. Officials have said that even with the new discovery at the time, they didn't expect to learn anything new. 
The reason for such sudden washing up was linked with the hurricane season as well as the rough sea days in that period. Here's what's next. Okay, technically, elephantiasis is only a very unfortunate system of something else. Let me explain. The root cause of this condition is worms. A parasitic worm, known as a filarial worm, that's transmitted into the bloodstream via a mosquito bite. Most people will live with this parasite without ever...